to winter and it gets dark at like 3 p.m. Can you let me live? <laughs> oh, shit. Lights out, I'm the favorite. Too many ways, baby. So that was a fail on my part. And it all plus signs, it was on the table. Javin and Vibe, Bim, Libby. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different. I finally got my hands on a Cricut machine. I have wanted one for so long. I've said it on my channel once or twice before but I've always wanted to open my own shop and I finally have some of the utensils to do so. So today I'm basically trying out the Cricut Explorer Air 3. I have never in my life made professional type stickers before so this is going to be my first time making professional stickers. So obviously before I can even get to the Cricut I do have to draw out my own designs. I knew I wanted to draw from anime but I didn't know which one I wanted to draw from so I was on Pinterest for like hours trying to find references and a good show to draw from. I finally decided I'm just going to stick with One Piece and Zoro because I just started One Piece recently. I am literally still in season one. It's going to take me a lifetime, but that's neither here nor there. I chose Zoro from One Piece and it took me a couple of days to draw this sticker mainly because I haven't seriously sat down and drawn anything in like years. So it took me a minute to figure out how I wanted the sticker to look, how to get into the groove of things, but I figured it out. I finally got there. I used Procreate because that's something that I already had. I have a lot of ideas that I want to- <laughs> Excuse me? Rude! So I had a lot of ideas that I wanted to make come to life. But the first thing I decided to draw was a sticker. So that is what I'm working on today. It took me days to finish the drawing, mainly because I work a full-time job and after work I am exhausted. I started working out after work so that makes me double the exhausted. Nonetheless, I figured out what I wanted to do, how I wanted it to look. I used Procreate because that is the software that I'm the most comfortable with. I've been using Procreate ever since I bought my iPad so that's just what I'm comfortable with using. So this is the sticker design that I'm going to be using today, but this is just a cute little drawing of Zoro from One Piece. So at first I was thinking of just printing it like this, but I might need a white outline for it just to make sure that it prints out perfectly. Like I'm not sure if the Cricut has the capability to do all of these ridges. And for the first try, I don't think I'm willing to try that out. So I'm going to make a quick outline of this in just white and then I'm going to go ahead and print it out. I kind of wanted it just to be like a postage stamp so it really wasn't supposed to have a border. But since I'm testing this out for the first time, I'm just going to leave the white border. Fingers crossed about the little part with the sword though, because I forgot about that. So after the design process was finished, I also realized that I don't have a printer. <laughs> so I also had to buy a printer. I got the Epson EcoTank ET2850. It did come with ink, which bless, because I didn't want to have to buy ink. But it did come with ink, it was really easy to install, easy to hook up to my Wi-Fi and everything. So 
Once I got that, I finally got some sticker paper and some paper specifically for prints because I do want to make that as well. And now that everything is set up, it is finally time to get to printing. So setting up the Cricut machine, it was pretty easy. I put it too close to my wall and I kind of like messed up the, the little thing that you put in the machine. But she's still working and she's still kicking, so she's fine. Everything that I bought basically came from this one YouTuber. I will put her channel or her videos right here. I bought everything she got because her tutorials were so in-depth, step-by-step, that it was impossible to miss something. So... <laughs> Me and the babies are editing Ignore the Mess, but I love how I said it's impossible to miss something, and I missed something, but that's very on-brand. We love a good foreshadowing moment. So I ended up just buying everything that she got, and it was just a bonus that her tutorials are very in-depth. So that was a fail on my part. I'm not really sure if you can see it, but it is outlined on here, but maybe I used the wrong card for the experiment. It literally didn't tell me which one to use. It just said put the cardstock on here and they gave me three different ones. But I'm just gonna assume that's user error and move on with my life. Okay, so I have made my first ever sticker. I don't have the thing to make it glossy. I forgot what it's called already. I don't have packing tape either because I used to make homemade stickers using packing tape to make it all glossy and shiny. Don't have that, but what I do have is basic everyday tape. So that is what I'm gonna do in the meantime while I wait for the glossy like paper to come in because I don't want this to get ruined because it's the first sticker that I've ever made, so I need to put something on it to make it not rub off. So overall, my opinion on the Cricut Explorer Air 2 is that I very much so like it. This is coming from someone who used to make stickers with packing tape, so this is a big step up from what I used to make, but I like it and I can't wait to see what else I can come up with. I can't wait to fidget around with some of the settings more to see if things can potentially look better for the future. But, like I said, overall, I like it, and I'm glad that I got it. Is it ashy looking? Yes. 
but did I make my first sticker? Also yes.